Uh, bring me in Bronx Johnny, would you? Thanks. Uh, hey, Chris. Chris, you're on the air. How you doing, pal? Hey, what's going on, buddies? Hey. Hey, don't stop the uh, thread on FBA with the uh, Save Dave, because that one's a little special. That's got some naked chicks in there with holding up signs for them. We don't want to stop the hotness. All right, so that's over on FBA? Yeah. I don't yeah, mind any cheerleading, but I want people to honestly listen on Friday, and if he does a good job, call in and support him. If he does a bad job, he put his ass on the line. He's the one that goes out. Uh, I you got to... it, Ronnie. All right, thanks, Chris. Take Peace. Care. Well, boss, uh, I wanted to do something on uh, my MySpace page to support Dave. Got no beef with the guy. He's a good guy. I like work with him. Knowing what the way he treated you and Pitsy. Him and Earl treated you and Pitsy over the last couple months. That's uh, that's more Earl than Dave, though. I love Dave. Like, Got no Earl, beef with Dave. Let me know this. L let me tell you this. Dave is just as bad as Earl. Is he now? Yeah. But now you're on my space page. You get what? Two hits a day? Yeah, you go ahead and put it up your link. <laughs> Knock yourself out. Actually, I got a an email about you the other day concerned. Someone told me on your MySpace page, you said that you're having chest pains and uh, you've been passing yeah. out. Oh, no, nah, not that I've been passing out. Just uh, my blood pressure is uh, pretty high lately. Now, why would you write that on your MySpace page? Well, no, I needed some health tips, man. That's, that's why I get tips from everybody. See, I think people stuff, lie man. on this stuff to get everyone worried about them. <laughs> yeah, you know where you can get good health tips? The emergency room. Yeah, but you they need have them. You need health insurance for that. <laughs> so your chest has been hurting? Yeah, chest has been hurting. Uh, been getting a little woozy. I don't pass out, though. You know, I'm a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't passing out. Good enough. point. Now, Johnny, uh, you were telling me about another problem you were having. What is this one, kidney? This is oh, kidneys are shutting down. This is over yeah, yeah. at Free FM when we do the Free FM show in the evening. There's a bathroom right there in the studio, connected to the studio. Yeah. And I guess Johnny told me, Bronx Johnny told me he can't use this because when you go in the bathroom, there's a mirror facing you while you while you're using the toilet. Oh yeah, it's a big mirror. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's got it's got a big mirror. It's just a little bathroom. So it's a one toilet bathroom. It's not a public restroom. Right. Yeah. So he says he can't go in there and use the toilet when his reflection is staring back at him in the mirror. He can't pee in front of himself. Yeah, like your dick's looking right back at you and like, it's fucking weird, bro. <laughs> so you can't pee in front of yourself. N like, I can't look at myself while I'm pissed. Because <laughs> then you're trying to make faces and shit while you piss. Sometimes you make faces while you piss. You don't even know that. I didn't know I made a face while I pissed. What kind of face you make? Make it for me right now. I can't do it. I'm not pissing. How's it look, though? Let's see your piss face. It's some... <laughs> like in pain? May you pass in a stone? No, nah, it looks like uh, something Larry David would do or some shit. It looks <laughs> real fucking weird. I don't All like right, it. All right, you look like a 58-year-old Jewish guy. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, Johnny. You know, every time, it's like an onion with you. I go, okay, Johnny's the normal <laughs> one. And the more I find out about him, the nuttier he is. Yeah, this one was odd. I guess it's like, you know, it's like something from the animal kingdom where another alpha male sees uh, his reflection <laughs> and thinks someone else is invading his area. <laughs> it's a very bizarre one to have. I don't And for me, I, I can't, like, just stay at my shit and... I'm pissed. That shit is just... I you can't stare at my shit. That's your dick, not your shit. Yes. No, I just can't stare at it, though, man. Are you ashamed of it? Maybe a little bit, but I'm still, I am still don't want to look at it, man. And then Pitts comes it's out... It's fucking shaped like a corkscrew. Oh. And it makes him nervous. Yeah, I wouldn't what, want to What Pitsy does. Pitts comes out, and he's like, oh, my shit's all bulky, and it looks healthy. I'm like, what the fuck, man? It's all what? It's all healthy looking and stuff. He's very proud of his. Yeah. So you guys are sitting there back there talking about yourselves. <laughs> Pitsy mad at her own, Dave? Oh, uh, no, no. I can't speak on behalf of Pitsy. I have no idea. To be honest, I don't know. Earl, have you talked to him yet? No, yeah, yeah. That conversation was going to happen tonight. Why? It was all, Ronnie. You're in a little time machine. Yeah. Where you're arriving in time <laughs> right before <laughs> Earl was going to do anything. Now I heard him talking to Dave yesterday when I went back there. And he's destroyed. No, and I understand that. And I mean, I, I'm, did you lie? I mean, I mean, I feel awful about this, and I'm trying. I'm just trying to. Earl, Dave, is he pissed off? And he has every right to be. Yeah, he's extremely pissed off and heartbroken, and sad, and he's just considering, you know, not even staying at all. Yeah, well, that's the fucking right thing. 
That's the fucking normal thing. That's what I would have done a long time ago. I know, but this thing, this thing's been eating away at me. It's been totally eating Bullshit. away. Bullshit! You think it's been eating away at you as much as it's been eating away at Pitsy? No, not that bad. Obviously, I mean, he has a right to all of that. But I feel awful about this. Absolutely awful. Why? You never brought his name up once. No, I just felt I. I feel really bad. I. I really do. And then, and I'm. I'm trying to find a way to make it right. I really am. Why don't you talk to Ron Wood and maybe get him on the on the fucking uh, road right now with the stones? Good news, Pitsy. You're doing the loadout. <laughs> you're all you're all mad too. Yeah, a little bit. Cause yeah. it's, uh, it's it's getting to you, isn't it? Oh no, I've been pissed for a little while, but uh, cause it's funny. You talk to him, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna talk to him this week, or like, and then I found out from somebody else who actually did us the favor to call, and. We heard back, oh, I never heard of that. So he was basically feeling this bullshit, so. Yeah, Earl never said a thing to anybody. Yeah. At any place. Either business. I found that out, Earl. That is that is absolutely not true. I know firsthand that it's true. We're checking into it now. Oh, I understand it, but I, but uh, over. So over, they're lying. I don't, I don't know what to think, but I know over it, over it free, I definitely talked about it. Who, to John Minnelli? Yes. I spoke to John about it, what was that, Monday? Monday's too late, you I mean, maniac. I mean, I mean, How long has this thing been saying, going on? I'm just saying as recently as Monday. No. <laughs> it's a lie. I know oh, it's, it's a, a lie. lie. Fez put the call in to him, when was it, last, the same day, right? Before uh, Earl called. Oh, def yeah. yeah. It was definitely before Earl called, because here's the ass that I turn into. Yeah. I bring something up to John Minnelli that I assume he's been told about. Right. And then get caught, and then get told, okay, uh, tell me about this. And that is true, and you called him early Monday morning, and... Of last week. Yeah, and then, oh, this was before Monday. Yeah, yeah, totally. So tell me what day you brought it up. Whenever Pitsy and uh, we we t we talked with Pitsy and uh, Johnny and go what? Right, yeah. So it was it was that's when I called after I heard that. But I mean, I I don't know what to say. I honestly you live don't. in a web of lies. I'm not living a living a web of lies. I know I know what I said. I, I absolutely know what I said, and I know when I said it. But it was brought up to me like it was the first time the guy was hearing it. It was the first time he was hearing it. And XM should have been told all this stuff before. I, again, you I, don't string I, people out, Earl. I'm, I don't know what to say because I'm, I'm stunned. I'm honestly stunned. Why are you stunned? Because you got caught. Why don't you just say what? this? Why don't you just fucking come out like uh, the Desperado? Yeah, you caught me. <laughs> the posse finally caught me. You ran me down. Problem, Earl. You got Fez Watley now calling to check up. And Fez Watley has taken over as executive producer of the show. You know that, Earl, right? He's on the phones with everybody today. Yes, that I know. And what is your job now? Make up lies about Ron Wood... <laughs> Uh, disregard the fucking independent uh, record stuff and turn off Fez's water during shower times. Just to keep me from making my phone calls. Do you ever even use soap? You yes. know, don't just get in there and stand underwater. <laughs> and I ain't going to help you. Yes, I use soap and a washcloth and everything. Here's Pitsy. Hey, Pitsy. Hey, boys. What's going on? Well, uh, Earl punked you. That's what we found uh, out. <laughs> I've been being punked for how long? Uh, almost a year now. So, I mean, what am I going to do? But uh, here's the thing, Ron. If he talked to somebody over there, uh, why never me or Johnny gotten an answer either way? Fucking right, you know, son. That's Where's that come from? I'm just saying. Why are, you, up a little bit. why are you suddenly now, you're ready to fucking <laughs> join a mob? Okay. You had all fucking day <laughs> sitting in here I tried to talk to you. <laughs> Yeah. All you can say is you're afraid of your own cock. <laughs> All of a sudden, he turned into Woim <laughs> when Butch <laughs> called in. Oh, no, where's your hat? What happened? Is fainting time? Uh -oh. Fainting time? Just brushing back the hair I have. What? He's brushing back his hair. <laughs> you get caught 
And the heat hits you. Right. You gotta start taking off clothes. There's not. I'm, you know, I just took off my hat. I pulled my hair back like this. I scratched my head and I put my head back on. You got caught. That's all. <laughs> So, right. I don't know. I'm Vince, just, you don't just, even... Just, th I want you to talk to Fez for now on. Fez is okay. on the job. All right? Okay. I am That's the new good. executive producer of the Ryan and Fez show. Yeah, and you don't get caught up saying anything that you, you know... Don't even be fucking fired up about this. Just be professional about it. Fez will see what he can do to unravel this, okay? I, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right, buddy. I'll we'll see you later. Talk to you later. Fez, you're on mop-up. You're the cleaner now. Yeah. Here comes Mr. Wolf, Mr. <laughs> Watley. Hey, everyone. It's Mr. Wolf. <laughs> i got to clean up this mess. All right. got cleaning supplies. You've got Afghans. What do you have here? <laughs> it's fucking hysterical. <laughs> While you're being the cleaner, Fez, yeah. clean your own ass because there's <laughs> something with your stank today. All right. I didn't get a chance to shower. I'll admit there's some stank. My water got turned off. Or if I was you, I'd be embarrassed. No, I'm I'm embarrassed and I'm stunned. I'm I'm I by your own behavior. I'm just <laughs> your own incompetence. <laughs> you got caught. I mean, I mean, I know I spoke to people that I know, yeah, and I was told things. Here's what and happens I, and before when Fez and I would leave here, you'd sit around with your feet up on the air uh, on the fucking desk talking to young guys like you're fucking. Uh, like your kid, uh, Shalane. Like you're the old <laughs> Western fucking gunfighter telling you stories of yesteryears. And you finally got bust. After a while, they're going, Earl, you're telling us, you're telling us, where the hell is it? No, I only re I only relayed what was told to me and what I, I Bro, spoke. Bro, whoever gave you the right to make promises anyway? I didn't make any promises. All right, I'm going to ask you right now, Johnny. Now, I know Pitsy's not here. You're feeling a little more pussy. <laughs> Did you feel like you were let on a little bit? A little bit, because uh, if you recall that show that I graduated, Earl said he'd be on it. Yeah. So he did uh, kind of oh. throw that out. All right, I remember that on the air. Yeah. Did you ever get an answer yet? Oh, no, man. No, basically what I said was, he's like, hey, can you help me get my resume? I was like, yeah, I can help you do that. And I was like, you could, no, and I helped him. He showed it to me. I was like, hey, there's certain things that were wrong with it. I was like, hey, you need to fix this, this, and this. So you did your part uh, with Johnny. I, I I tried to help the kid. That's what I did. I'm not buying it. I, I think Earl, like when Earl says he talked to people... I don't. I don't think he said. I don't think he came right out and said what he was asking these was supposed to ask people. Earl, you're a showboat and liar. You may be the best I've ever met, though. I'll give you that. You may be the best I've ever met. The problem, Earl, is you don't like any confrontation. Yeah. So that when it gets to this point, the confrontation is like two hundred times bigger. I don't mind. I don't mind confrontation. I just, I, I don't know. I really, I really don't know what to say. This I is think confrontation, the, so you should be able to know what to say. No, because be I to defend yourself or, or explain yourself. All I'm gonna say is I've been. I was. I was told one thing, and then the other thing would happen. And then I'm like, well, why did you do this? And I'm like, wait a minute, that's what you told. Wait me. a minute, this all came. You, are you back on John again? Because that's bullshit. Fez and I have been there for eight fucking days. How could it be his responsibility? No, I'm not. I am not blaming John at all. Well, where else? You've been with another company for fucking two years. Why are you fucking just pointing at one? Oh, there he goes. No, There's not, the faint. No, I'm not the head's faint, down. Though. I'm bah, totally not gonna faint. Bah, bah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally not gonna faint. How's that fucking have anything to do with it? Nobody in that building over there knew you. So fucking eight shows ago. So how's it their responsibility? Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not pointing specific fingers at specific people. I'm not. That's at your all. problem. You need to be doing that because the only fucking person is yourself. Dave, you're just as responsible. 
Uh, I am a little bit. Yeah, I feel bad about what I did, but I tried to help Pitsy and Johnny, and I always... You, first of all, you shouldn't even be in the business. Yeah. So that's not even a problem. Okay. I would remind Earl about uh, Pitsy and Johnny quite frequently. But that's like me saying, you know what, Fez? I talked to the parking meter over and over about getting you a new coat. Yeah. And it didn't do anything. Damn, parking meter? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That parking park- meter's an asshole. It's the parking meter. But if Johnny and Pitsy would come to me, I would say, well, I really, you know... It- I'm stupid redhead. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, I would say okay. that in a nutshell. Well, at least I'm being honest. I would say, really, Earl's the guy you got to talk to. To be real, he does do that. He's one of the most straight up guys you talk to. Yeah, I don't give the promises, unlike ED over there. Exactly. Erectile dysfunction? Earl Douglas. Oh. Same thing, though. ED, what up? <laughs> <laughs> How many fucking nicknames has Febreze the Fanning Goat stacked up over the last couple of weeks? And while he was spazzing out over there in the booth, he hit me in the eye. He, How? He just punched me. Because when Earl gets mad and yells, he starts flailing around like uh, some sort of animal in a zoo. And the and his, his, his hand... White hit. people are so scared of black. I didn't mean it like that, but his hand poked me right in the eye, so... Tony, you're on Rana Fez. Hey, what's going on, guys? Yeah. Hey, um, I was in there in your studio. I don't know if you remember me on, like, the 3rd of January watching your show. I'm a friend of Johnny's. No. And um, Earl was going to be the worst cover your ass, yes, man, I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Yeah, he covers his own ass. you got to give you credit for that. You are a survivor, Earl. I mean, you, you, gotta, you, you gotta be able to stand up at least for somebody in your crew, if not yourself, every once in a while and say, you know what? Fuck it, I did it or I didn't do it. Be a man. Alright, thank you very much. Like- Earl, do you feel like you cover your crew? <laughs> Look out for my crew. <laughs> Oh, man. Right. That's a great one. All right, Earl. By crew, do you mean you're assy? That's a great one, Earl. That's rich. Oh, and Dave, you look after me. You absolutely look after me. You dime me out every chance you get. Oh, that's you, 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 Here we go. Oh, you what? squealing yeah. sack of shit. No way. No, Bullshit. No way. <laughs> I'll squeal for you on what? On what? I don't tell them that you fall asleep here all the time. Watching movies on HBO, I don't say it every single time. You don't sit time. here and watch movies on HBO. You sure, you sure as heck do. What have you been seeing lately, Earl? If, I mean, if anything... You were watching that oh, Keanu oh, Reeves what, movie the other day what, where he was an what, angel. Yeah. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? The one where he has to fight demons and shit. I have He's no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, Earl, I, you, of course... He's not he, an angel. Of course you don't remember the movie because well, you Dave, were asleep for it. Well, Dave... Well, when we have the things that open in the show, how many times did I tell you to, to work on that? You don't play them! I, when, when I come up with openers... I don't it, play them because they're not there, Dave. Because they're not done. I, so I, I've you, done seven of them it, on my own because they were not getting done. So I did it myself. Back to the point of hand, Earl. If you uh, cover your crew, then you wouldn't have said to Ron Fez, you want me clipped, and you would have gone to bat for Bronx, Johnny, and Pitts. Three people on your so-called crew, all three of them, you fucking stab in the back. I did not stab them in the back. I went to bat. I, I, I specifically when? remember going to bat for Pitsy. Donna, I specifically remember doing that. When? When? Pitsy doesn't know this. Monday? You never told I did, Pitsy. I mean, as recently as Monday, I did it. But any time before then? Never. Yes, I can remember it. Because when I, when, I went to, uh, when I went to Free FM to scout out the studio I eight f- fucking shows we've done there we've worked we've been at xm all this time no and i understand that I, and and i said one of the questions i brought up was can we hire is like you fucking fainted the other day in front of elo and wiki yes I, what I, was I your opportunity to talk I to them i couldn't help that it just happened and they you know what they said at that meeting that you fainted at we never hear from you guys they never hear from you earl that's why I've taken over as EP. What's that? Executive producer of the Run and Fed show. Oh, I thought you were two thirds of Emerson, Lincoln, Palmer. <laughs> I was gonna go. I guess I'll be Greg. Lake. And Earl's been lying for a long time. The funny thing was, I was looking through some of my notebooks for the show, and I forgot when I first started, I kept a little tiny log of what I deemed Who? Earl lies. Mm-hmm. And it was right off the bat, little things that he had lied about. I had actually totally forgotten about you these You still lies. have it? I still have it. Go I'm, get it. I'll go <laughs> fucking find it. <laughs> You're writing in a diary? <laughs> Earl lies. Of Earl lies. I'll tell you what. Make it into a movie. I'll go. <laughs> I've lived it. Earl, you're the, you're the assistant uh, producer of this show. Okay. Tell me the truth. You got the opportunity right now. 
Do you want Dave gone? Do I want Dave gone at, yeah. at this particular moment? I right. mean, if he really thinks he can do a better job than me, he, he, I mean, I challenge him to that. Do I want him gone? Yeah. I mean, based on the last, I would say, week, two weeks, absolutely. He deserves to be fired. Yes. That will work out. I would say yes, mm -hmm. Dave should go, except I would really miss Earl Eyes. <laughs> uh, he's running back. Hey, come. Right. Look yep. at the heading. <laughs> Look at the heading. The he February. The heading is all capital letters, underlined several times. Earl lies. But look uh, at the date. Of uh, goes back to February of last year. February 9th. Last. I was barely on the job, and I can already smell the lies from this bullshit artist. Dave, you think you can do a better job? Because I'll walk out right now. That this is a total <laughs> shoot. I will That's walk point. right now. I'm not even I'm, arguing about you leaving. I, I don't no, want that. I'm, no, See, that's, I am you're gonna quit right now, Earl. That, that's the I'm perfect, dead serious. I will walk right now. This Dave. is the perfect example of you being all about you. No. I never said for you no. to leave. I don't even want you to leave. No, believe it, it or not. No, if you think and I don't the, want your no. fucking job either. No, if me, I want me you to is, fucking me stay leaving up for is us. best for the show. I'll do it. I, will I never fucking said that. No one did. What we want is some fucking solidarity, some camaraderie. What? And I don't stick up for you, and I don't, I don't go there to bat no for you. No fucking camaraderie between you or any members of this fucking staff. The only people who you ever talk to are Ron Fez, and the rest of us might as well be fucking ghosts. But you call me? Ghost. Do I take your calls? No, I always you take don't. your calls. You take Ron's. You... I take your drunken calls every time. You're like, hey, girl, come I down. And I say, I'm you drunk in fucking three months. When you called me over the weekend, you were so, I, I, you called me once a couple of times over the weekend asking me to come over. And I say, you know what? I'm busy. I got plans. What? This weekend? I no, can fucking I get my phone weekend. out, give it to Ron, and show no. my outgoing call. I didn't yeah, say like this weekend. Fine. I, I didn't, didn't say this weekend, Dave. There he you goes again. <laughs> You got that! <laughs> no! You, Dave, I said on a weekend. I didn't say last weekend. Uh-oh, here he goes. Poe! <laughs> yeah. You didn't know that, did you? You didn't know Poe's hanging around, did you, today? <laughs> you walked into a Poe wall. I'm a fucking professional. I never said last weekend. I said, I remember, it was a particular weekend. You called me, and I said, and you, you, were, you perfectly said, I was like, hey, you want to come and watch the Giants game? I went, no, I say, I got plans. That's never happened go. in my life. I would never <laughs> invite a fucking Jets fan into my home to watch the great New York you, football you have asked The only real football town in New York. Speaking town. of Ma speaking of Master Poe, I just want to throw in real quick here that the video of Master Poe taking down Dave when he was trying to get to Earl yesterday, yeah. that's now up on ronfez.net. Oh, nice. So let's see. Let's see now. But Let's Dave, take a look. But I never said this uh, the, weekend. The weekend take was a look what? It was outgoing calls. The fourth was started the weekend. Mm -hmm. So just scroll up, Mr. B, and tell me if you ever see the name Earl Douglas in any of those places. Danny. 411. <laughs> <laughs> I need some info. Uh, 646 and free. I don't see anything else up here. That's right. You don't see anything else. So mm -hmm. once again, where's my little luck? Oh, uh, here's Iraq. E Iraq. I called him. Uh, Earl, January fourth. Yeah, you did. You called Earl. No, yeah. outgoing. Is that outgoing? Oh, Earl, I don't know what the fuck. Oh it is. well, no, no. Earl could call your... me on January fourth. Yeah. I don't know your phone. Here's Jason. Marcel, you're fucking calling the hell out of everybody. Huh? Okay, this, why yeah, do you leave people alone, that, Dave? That was during the show, obviously, because it's Marcel. But once we get to the nighttime, right, starting probably January 5th, then I should say, that's when it started. That's when the real weekend started. You know, that's when if I want to call people, that's when I call people. That's when you're drunk. Exactly. The blood pressure, Earl, and I'm going to sue you for if you damaged any part of my retina just now. Any part of my cornea, whatever. Why are you upset? What's the problem, Dave? Yeah, I turned on the microphone. Oh, I thought he was talking. I thought Ron was talking yeah. to Earl. I'm talking to you. Why are you this upset? Why am I upset? Yeah. Because he doesn't seem to care for anyone besides Earl Douglas. Or that's horseshit. Maybe that's second complete horseshit. Maybe secondary. Hello. Hey, big guy. How you doing, buddy? Just making some calls on Dave's cell phone. <laughs> oh. I'll talk to you later. Uh, thanks for calling me Comic Genius, too. Bye. 
Uh, what were you saying, Dave? Because he doesn't seem to care for anyone but Earl Douglas and then maybe secondary Ron Fez. I would put Ron Fez even under Earl. But as far as the rest of us, we might as well be called the peons. So from now on, I'd like to be called Davey Peon. All right, Davey Peon. And Johnny Peon and Pitsy Peon. What happened to Davey Pants, your old name? That's gone to the fire, What, Ronnie. The wolves ate it up. <laughs> yeah, how are you? <laughs> That's not Good. my mom, is it? No, don't worry who it is. I'm just okay. making some calls. Why would you give someone your phone? All right. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye-bye. Okay. I, I really wouldn't like it's nice my to know mom. some of these people are listening to the show, though. Yeah. It makes me happy. So, Dave, uh, where do you go from this From this point? Well, from this point, I would, uh, I would like to say that uh, Earl is just a large liar, and he's been found out. Remember this, Ron? Remember when Earl said the pennies were going out? Yeah, I do remember. Yeah, do you know why? that That's in the log. Let's see. Quote, Ro- Earl said to Ron, the pennies have gone out. <laughs> when I said that arrangements were made, but that they haven't gone, been picked up yet. Then, Earl told Ron, I was told they went out when no one said that. Okay, so, so this was a package you guys were supposed to send. Of pennies, and I said... Oh, yeah, that was the Super Bowl bet I lost. Right. And I said, arrangements have been made. Yeah. Instead, Earl says, no, Ron, they went out. Then because you, you told me they went out. That's I exactly have it in the log! I have it in the log! Where I say, quote, arrangements have been made for them to be picked up. And but, that's what... But exactly they haven't what been you, picked up yet. Earl, it's in the log. It's, it's exactly in the log, what, exactly I'm what not you, gonna... That was exactly what you didn't tell me. That morning. I'm not going to lie in my own fucking diary. I'm not going <laughs> to that's, that's a good point. <laughs> that is true. That wasn't like papers that he was giving me. That was him blowing off steam. <laughs> Dear diary, well, I'm down to 165 pounds and I look great. <laughs> April 3rd, right. 2006. Yeah. Earl tells Ron at 5 o'clock that he's busy at work. <laughs> I spotted him watching the Yankees game with the sound on. You remember <laughs> that, Earl? From the log of lies. In the log. In the log. Eastside Dave <laughs> has just revealed to us that he's been keeping tabs on Earl's lies for over yeah. about a year now. And here is one of the big ones. Yeah. When I first started, of course, we all know the Grammy Awards for the ONA show. Oh, Earl kept saying, I'll take responsibility, end quote, which implies, which, I did. which implies that someone else was at fault. When you say, hey, I'll take responsibility for my staff for doing that, rather than saying to Opie and Anthony, I turned the channels. You know why I know? Because I fucking watched you turn the channels in their office. I did not turn... Well, I don't know why we're reliving ancient history. It's in the log. That's but, why. That's why. It's but, in the log. It's in the log. I think no, you but, fucked up the pyramids, too, if we're going no, but, back that far. Is that... That's my phone. What the... Hello? Thank you. <laughs> Do not call me on Eastside Dave's phone. <laughs> Thank you. Stop calling this number. Ugh. That's not so bad, but, but, you know, we can keep my mom out of this. I already called her. Ugh, that's just not... And for some reason, she it was your phone calling, and she still talked dirty. <laughs> I don't know why that would happen. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't my mom. <laughs> Maybe she loves you. <laughs> what, the latest... So line. that's the truth now. And you protected him a year ago, because you never dimed him out. I never dimed when him out. When he the fucked up and always stuff. I never dimed him out. No, the truth of the matter. I never dimed you out about the pennies, because Ron is just uh, admitting that. But what I did was keep a log in case one of these things could uh, happened. And today it happened, Earl. And what happened with the Grammy Awards was, of course, ONA had uh, the Grammys being recorded in their office. They wanted audio for their next day's show. And it got screwed up. And exactly. they had no audio from exactly. the broadcast. And it was because Earl went in and turned channels, which yeah, screwed up yeah, their computer I, recording I, process. Well, I did not. I still, to this day, have did not touch that thing. And also, Dave, you had just started here. The yes. reason why I, I wanted to keep you out of that because I didn't want the the two hundred two. That's the point. I was never I, in it at all. You were right. here with me. Yeah, and, night. I, and I no, but I watched you pick up the remote control and turn from one of their news channels to the fucking Jerry Springer show. No, I did not. I didn't even touch that I thing. What happened? Well, am I blind now? Plus, it's in the fucking log. All right, Dave, I'm out. I'm out. What do you mean you're out? What do you mean? I'm fucking out too. I'm out too. Then. 
Earl has walked away. Oh, yeah, walk away. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous the way this man acts. I'm not, I wasn't even talking about him quitting or doing any of that shit. Just sticking together. I knew you guys were spread too thin. I know it. You're spread too thin. I'm not. I like being spread, Mr. B. Oh. <laughs> I think that helps. I feel good. I feel like a clam. A happy clam. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I thought there was an now, now our producer walked off. Well, you got Flash back there. I mean, I, I can take over in there temporarily. Flash doesn't work here. Earl, come back here. Where's Black Girl Douglas? Earl, get on the... Where are you going? No, I just... <laughs> I, I just had to catch my breath. I, I, I took three steps and had to catch my breath. I was... Thought about your bills and came back? You know how to, who has to catch breaths? Serial liars. Serial killers, too. They do? Earl never killed anybody. <laughs> he killed my heart. That doesn't make sense. I hate when you start to talk nutty. You think it's good, but it's not. I'm not. He put a dagger in it. Anything else from the Log of Lies? That's all we had so far. Why did you stop keeping the log? Well, you know why I did, Ron? Because I actually got a... Attack of guilt because I said, you know what? Earl and I are supposed to be in this together. We're supposed to be like water and ice, you know, together as a hey, team. Hey, it's Ron. How are you? I'm using Dave's phone. And I genuinely. Hey. I, I hope that's not. Hey, what are you up to? Ah. Uh, well, at least, Dave, you, you should be. I found Dave's phone. I'm just using it. Okay. That's, you know. <laughs> I only have so many minutes, Mr. <laughs> Big. And yeah. It's really. Oh, this is what he does in the middle of the night here? Calls up and starts singing? Oh, I think I know who you're talking to. Okay. How annoying he is. All right, honey, I got to get back to my show. Bye. Bye-bye. Alki and Solera. Okay. Well, I was just saying that, you know what, I felt bad because we are and I are supposed to be like brothers... And I said, you know what? I'm not going to keep the log anymore. Well, you because, got a lot of numbers in here. Because I want to trust Earl. Apparently, I made a mistake. You got Happy Typing Girl's number, huh? Yes, I do. Really? Is that why you mention her every day? Maybe. These are people that... These are contacts, you know? Who's David Burke? <laughs> I wonder what he's up to. Oh, you got Dawn's number in here. Yeah, sure. Some Fez doesn't have Dawn's <laughs> number. <laughs> What is uh, my girlfriend Don Kumia Anthony's sister's number doing in there? We're friendly with one another. Really? Friendly. Why would anybody be friendly with you? That should not be one of your drunk calls. Because I am a good person. Unlike that big... Geezy. ...guy in the back. Hey, are you feeling any better? <laughs> good. Tell All him right. I said hi. Uh, Fez gives his best. All right, bye. All right, bye. That's the first time he's picked up my phone in fucking five weeks. <laughs> well, at least people and are answering when your phone calls. And, of course, he does it when he's looking at Ron. Earl, let me ask you. And uh, you tell me right now, and I'm willing to do it. Should I get rid of Dave? Based on the last two weeks? Absolutely. Fine. Or would you got, Or would you want a chance to work it out with him? Um, do you think that can be done? Yeah, I mean, anything could be done. It could definitely be worked out. I mean, but, you know, but, you know, the pendulum kind of swings both ways, Dave. You can talk to, you can come up to me, tackle me, strangle me, do something, say to me, hey, oh, I need your help. He'd but never I, get past Poe. <laughs> but, you know, I, I generally like Dave. I think he's, he has, he's brought something to the show that was definitely missing. And, and again, Dave, if you need help, you can ask me. Always ask me. But you never well, seem to do that. Can I take you up on that strangle tackle offer? That'll be one way to patch things up. <laughs> like the day, if, if you throw a punch at me, I, 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 I'm just going to defend. I'm going to, I'm going to defend myself. No, he, won't, he wouldn't say. kill me. He would not kill me, man. Earl would destroy you. No fucking way. Hey, I'm getting text messages too. This is really fun, Dave. Yeah, it's a good phone. <laughs> you got to just hang yeah. on to that, Ronnie. Again, It'll probably come in helpful. Yeah, it is expensive item. So, like. My phone bill. What your what? parents pay for your phone bill? <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that, really. 
Sure. Well, what? They what? help a kid out that easy pass. A kid out? You're 29. I got a lot of bills. You're fucking 29. <laughs> what don't they pay? They'll pay my gas. I know they're helping with the rent. Yes. No. They took no. away the car. They... <laughs> Yes. Dave, you're on the family plan that your father has. I meant, sure I am, Earl. At least my family cares about me. Oh. I'm not an outcast. Well, my family cares about me. They care about enough you're about me. You motherfucker. You have bars on speed dial. You're an alcoholic. <laughs> what are you, ordering beers for delivery? I need to get to McFadden's quickly. I can't deal with the 212 or is it 718 area code now. Area codes are always changing. Hello? Hey, uh, sorry, I don't have time to talk. I'm doing the show right now. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. What's going on, Mister Popular? Oh, you know, everyone's <laughs> calling. Wow. Yeah, my phone's a great little item there. Yeah, I give your parents the best. You know what? It's one thing you can't pay your bills. What do you need a phone for? <laughs> well, uh, I need to talk to people. I need to call up places. All your phone calls only end up getting you in trouble. Well, that is true. All right, you, uh, Snuggins is saying it's uh, 10 cents per text, and yeah. it's really, I'm getting a lot of text messages over here. You know, guys, <laughs> Mr. B can't possibly look at every text message, so I think you're just wasting your time. Uh, is Winnie, Big A. Right. Oh, I'm fine, Big A. Thanks for asking. Boy, wait till Daddy McDonald gets this bill. <laughs> Whoa, there's going to be hell to pay. You're going to go have to see him in, the, in his study. You know, you, people can call up here or they can email. <laughs> really, the phone is, I just don't think it's the most efficient way. David, get in here. <laughs> What's with this text bill? <laughs> That's a good well, while that does sound exactly <laughs> like him, uh, I don't know. I just... I just took a Cialis, I'm ready to bone your mother, and now I've got to deal with this. <laughs> this isn't right, Dave. Well, oh, that's just her. That is a good fucking impression. I didn't amass the McDonald fortune <laughs> by you running up tax bills. He doesn't take my, uh, Cialis. He takes... The problem yeah. is I uh, used it as a suppository, and now my turds go up. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know either. But it's just part of the world. It was thing. almost an improv, though, wasn't it? <laughs> almost. You're starting improv. <laughs> and shit, ass, fuck. Dick, fuck, piss. <laughs> you have just margarita on here? Just in case you want a margarita at any time? <laughs> That's. Is that the recipe? My aunt. <laughs> aunt Margarita? Yeah. Hey, E-Rock. Thanks for texting. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> I love it. Sure. Who's this E-Rock? And why is he always texting you? <laughs> you notice how I'm getting calls from a lot of people, but I don't get a call from real Douglas, do I? What's That's that even mean? That means that he don't care. He don't care. This is Elfish. <laughs> Elfish? Boy, you got the coolest friends ever. As well, sometimes. You got Harry T on here. <laughs> we talk football, me and Elfish. A lot of this could be your AA buddies. They should be. <laughs> As you scroll through it. <laughs> Oh, boy, I can't keep up. The Texas are just flying in on Eastside Dave's phone. Hello? Hey, Earl. Couldn't hear. Heard but something there. Of course, Earl calls in after I said for him to do it. And I think there was a call waiting on there, too, while Earl was trying to talk. Yes, there was. Very busy right now. There was a vo uh, definitely a call waiting. It's a nice phone, isn't it? It's a good model. Do you want to give out the number so everyone can play along, not just the people in your five? No. Oh. <laughs> in your five. In your five. No. Earl, you, Earl used to be in my five. Forget now. Earl was in the Jackson five. I think you're getting along with everybody. Now, I think we, we pulled the gang back together. <laughs> I think it's working out. Yeah. All right, we need to break. Uh, let's come back and play some of those independent songs, Earl.